the Lord, church. God is good and his mercy endures forever. We are blessed that so many of you have been watching the broadcast every Sunday. We love you with the love of the Lord. The Bible says that the word of God is alive and powerful. I believe that today's sermon will uplift you, encourage you, and bring transformation to your life. And now it is my pleasure to welcome Bishop Bruno to the pulpit. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We continue our sermon series, The Promises of God. The Promises of God. 2 Peter chapter 1 verse 4, God has given us very great and precious promises so that through them you may be partakers of the divine nature. Uh, there are thousands of promises of God in the Bible. So in times of despair and in times of trouble, it is God's promises that give us hope, assurance, confidence, and strength. 2 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 20 says, For all of God's promises have been fulfilled in Christ with a resounding yes. And so so through Christ, uh, the Amen is spoken by us uh, to the glory of God. Uh, so as believers, we say yes and Amen to the promises of God. So I came to tell you that God's got a promise for you. God's got a promise for you. If you're going to move forward into your promised land, you've got to believe God. I believe the promises of God. I believe God will do what he said he will do in his word. So now let's talk about the greatest, most precious, wonderful promise that God had made to his people. And that is the promise of the Messiah. The promise of the Messiah. Uh, uh, the baby boy in the manger was in the beginning with God. All things were made through him. All things were made through him. And that means uh, he took nothing uh, and made it something. He took nothing uh, and made it something. That's um awesome thought. That's an amazing thought. He took nothing and made it something. You see, in the beginning, um, there was nothing at all. Uh, there was no universe, uh, no sky, uh, no sun, no moon, no stars, uh, and no earth, uh, and there was no water. Uh, but, but the mighty God, uh, Adonai, uh, called into existence uh, something uh, out of nothing. So, so the great God Almighty called into existence uh, something uh, out of nothing. What a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah. So God can create new things out of nothing. God can create new things out of nothing. Uh, so God took Ezekiel and showed him a valley that was filled with dry bones. Dead dry bones were scattered all around and there was no life in them. Uh, so God spoke to Ezekiel and asked him, uh, can these bones live again? Uh, well, Ezekiel didn't know what to say. Oh Lord, he said, only you know the answer to that. Uh, so Ezekiel chapter 37 verse 4. Then God, then God spoke to Ezekiel and said, uh, Speak to these bones uh, and say to them, Dry bones, uh, listen to the word of the Lord. Uh, speak to these bones uh, and say to them, and say to them, You shall decree a thing in the spirit and it shall be established unto you. Uh, speak to these dry dead bones, God said. You see, 
when you have Holy Ghost information, when you have Holy Ghost insight, when you have Holy Ghost uh, revelation concerning a situation, you can partner with God and make a prophetic decree and make a, a, a heavenly declaration in Jesus' name and watch miracles take place. I am here to tell you that God wants you to speak to the mountain in your life uh, and make a prophetic decree in the spirit uh, and make a heavenly declaration. This mountain uh, shall be removed uh, but by my spirit says the Lord because it's not by human might, uh, it's not by human power that you achieve victory but by my spirit uh, says the Lord. Uh, so this is what the Lord says. Look, I am going to put flesh and muscles on you and cover you with skin and cover you with skin. I came to tell you that God's got you covered. Hallelujah. I will put breath into you and you will come to life and you will come to life. Messiah came and he brought laughter into my soul. He brought life and he brought laughter into my soul. Hallelujah. Ezekiel chapter 37 verse 7. Ezekiel spoke the message just as God told him. As Ezekiel spoke, there was a rattling noise across the valley. And the bones came together. And the bones came together. I am declaring that your life is coming together beautifully. Your life will blossom and flourish. Glory to God. And the bones came together and formed complete skeletons. The muscles and flesh formed over the bones and skin covered their bodies. Finally the winds came. The winds came and filled the bodies with breath and they came alive. Glory to God, you're coming alive. Hallelujah. You see, sometimes it is hard to think that anything good can happen. But just like in the valley of dry bones, something good is going to happen to you. I declare that your life is headed somewhere good. Hallelujah. Uh, praise the Lord. You see, God can transform an environment of death into life. God can transform the hellish demonic environment in this country in your home. God can change it. He can transform it. He can turn it around. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Uh, just as God brought life to the valley of dry bones uh, with the breath uh, of his Holy Spirit, uh, God can take nothing and make it something. Uh, and the areas of your life uh, where you feel nothing good can happen, God can bring good out of a mess. Hallelujah. So don't worry about what you don't have. Don't worry about what you think you cannot do. Uh, the song says, all I had to offer him was brokenness and strife. He made something beautiful of my life. Glory to God. So this is what the gospel of Jesus Christ uh, is all about. That God placed the Messiah in the womb of a virgin girl uh, and descended through the birth canal into a manger. Uh, uh, Luke chapter 1 verse 35 the angel announced uh, the savior of the world uh, the messiah is here uh, Jesus is the promised messiah Jesus Christ is God's anointed one are you listening to me Jesus Christ uh, is God's anointed one uh, Isaiah chapter 61 verse 1 Jesus is anointed to preach good news to the poor he is anointed to heal broken hearts to heal broken and hearts. We all need spiritual healing. Uh, so many people today are suffering from a broken heart. Uh, but Jesus Christ can heal your broken hearts. Uh, he can heal your hurts. Uh, he can heal your emotional pain. Uh, Jesus can fully heal the wounds and scars uh, of the past. Glory to God. Jesus Christ is God's anointed one. He is anointed to comfort those.
those who mourn and to set the captives free and, and he's anointed to give, to give beauty for ashes to give beauty for ashes. You see, sometimes our hopes and dreams burn down and nothing is left but ashes of disappointment. God promised, what a beautiful promise, God promised to give beauty for ashes. Glory to God. The all of joy for mourning. God wants to give you joy unspeakable and full of glory because the joy of the Lord this Christmas is your strength. Hallelujah. Glory to God. He wants to give you the garment of praise for a spirit of happiness. Uh, God wants to deposit a new song of praise in your heart uh, for the spirit of heaviness. Uh, since the beginning of this year, the spirit of heaviness has descended upon this country. The spirit of heaviness has come down upon so many people in the world. And now I want to speak uh, to the spirit of heaviness in your life. Uh, I rebuke you, spirit of heaviness. Uh, I bow you and cast you out spirit of heaviness glory to God uh, you see Christmas means uh, uh, turning uh, to the great physician Christmas means turning to the savior Christmas means turning to the deliverer and ask him to heal you ask him to save you ask him to deliver you spirit soul and body he will heal you hallelujah Christmas reminds us that God always keeps his promises you see for centuries, the Jews uh, had been looking, expecting the Messiah. Uh, but one day, the angel came to a virgin girl and said, Joy to the world, the Lord has come. Joy to the world, the Lord has come. God is a promise-keeping God. The Lord has come. And let me tell you, now that the Lord has come, there is no place for demonic oppression in your life. Now that the Lord has come, there is no place for depression in your life. Now that the Lord has come, there is no place for anxiety. Now that the Lord has come, there is no place for poverty, for death in your life. Now that the Lord has come, there is no place, place for hellish demonic activity in your life. Joy to the world. The Lord has come. Hallelujah. Uh, and now in Joshua chapter 21 verse 45, uh, not one of all the Lord's good promises to Israel failed. Uh, God's not done with you yet. Listen to me. That's been our theme for 2020. It's a beautiful promise. What God starts up, God will finish up. God has begun a good work in your life. He will finish it. He will complete it. God's not done with you yet. And that's a promise. Not one of his promises will fail in your life. All his promises will come to pass in Jesus' name. Hold on to the promises of God. Stand on the promises of God. God will do what he said he will do. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And now I pray for your healing. I pray for your deliverance. I pray for your breakthrough. I pray for your family. I pray for supernatural protection, a hedge, a shield around you. I pray for restoration and I pray for many miracles in your life. Hallelujah. I feel God. I feel the anointing of the Holy Spirit. The Messiah, the anointed one is in your living room right now. He's touching you and he's setting you free. He will touch you and make you whole. Glory to God. And now, and now may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord give you peace. Shalom. Merry Christmas. Until I see you next Sunday. God bless.